Good job. Come on, Lil. Come on, Lil. Just keep walking, darling. Good. Good job, guys. Good boy. Sorry if this uh, filming's not too good. I'm trying to not look at the dogs and just keep walking. So I'm putting the phone over my shoulder, so apologies if uh, the filming is uh, not exactly accurate, but it's a guess, because I don't want to see the dogs. I don't want the dogs to see me looking at them. I want them just to see me walking in a direction. And, uh, as you can see, most of the dogs have come in nice and close and tight, which is good. Uh, we have a Abra, Rosie, here we go, they've taken off up there, so. Uh, and Matilda have all taken off, so. I'll turn around and we'll go the other way.
it's a much better approach to this corner. They all took off like a bullet last time. Shadow's been up there wandering by herself. Pretty standard behaviour from her. Yeah, so bit of a silent walk through the bush with cruiser this afternoon. He's pretty excited to be up here. So he is just having a bit of a sniff around at most of the usual spots. Uh, but he is hanging out pretty well too, so pretty happy with it. He's not just taking off and wandering and disappearing down to the paddock. Unlike uh, little Miss Shadow over there, little Miss, I do what I want. It's you, it's you, Missy. I reckon Shadow spends probably about seventy percent of her day uh, in the springtime, which is now out here, running around, chasing after these birds that are nesting. Hello, mate. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Hey, good boy. Hey, you do want one of those. Hey, you do want one of them. I can give you one of them. Oh. Brought a couple of treats for them while we're up here. A little picnic in the bush. But he didn't want it before. Let's put that down. See if he wants one now. You want one, buddy? Oh, sorry, mate. Thought uh, Hope was going for that one. There you go. Oh, there you go, buddy. Sorry. Crumbly fingers. Struggling to do this one-handed. They're going for the big piece that's in the back of my hand here. There you go. Good job. Rosy. Good job. Good boy, mate. There you go. Good job. Good job, guys. There you go, mate. Good boy. You got another one, Cruiser? Another one. Oh, good boy, mate. Hope. Good job, guys. You can take that somewhere nice. You're going to bury it? Oh, I used to. Yeah, it won't stay buried for long, I can tell you right now. There you go, he's buried it. Watch this, he got two shepherds on his tail. <laughs> no chance that's gonna stay there. No chance, buddy, sorry, mate. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, he might have fooled him. He did. Oh, he's lying on it, he doesn't even know. Oh well, someone will find that.
I'm walking up to this T-junction on this track. We were all going out there, but they've all run off ahead by about 30 metres, so I'm going to turn right instead of left. You see how long it takes them because Shadow's dragging them all out there with her barking at the trees. Abra's carrying on out there. Now, yeah. we've got a good chance we could lose that pack on this walk. Abra, Shadow, Cruiser, they could all just go, yeah, we're good out here. There we got Rover, we got the two Shepherds coming back. We got Matilda here, Dan goes behind us. We got the Boxer Trio. Here they come, this is Abra. Oh, if Abra's back, then the other two will come. Rosie, Nabra. This Violet I can see coming up the track there. completely gone out of sight uh, so whether they come along the track or not it's going to be hard for them to decide which way to go they've got a key junction there that they can't see where we are we're kind of sitting in a little behind a little hollow here up the top of the hill they're down over the edge of the track that runs on the bottom and this one that comes on here so my plan is just to wait and see. Oh, in fact, oh, here we go. Look at this violet falling in there. Oh, well done. Well done. Good job. Good job. That's really cool as I was looking over the hill. This violet is obviously coming to the same problem. And they're following a nose up the hill here. I think I just saw a flash of yellow. That could be Cruiser coming up here. There he is. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Well done. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But I can hear Shadow barking and she is way down out of the bush onto the big open paddock and uh, on the far side which is where those plovers are nesting and she loves chasing so um, she'll chase them off and then she'll come back to those butcher birds that like to swoop her but she's gone she's, she's got no interest in following us on a silent walk but these guys are all doing really well really, really well yeah. Let's keep moving. The shadow out there barking like that. Letting everyone know within earshot that she's really excited and there's something to attend to. Wouldn't surprise me if crews would sort of ducked away every now and again to investigate and then decide to come back. So he's always been one to stay right off, but he's doing really well today. Looking back, checking in. Stopped because we've stopped. Good form. See if he checks back again before he starts moving. Here we go. Good little glance. Good on you, mate. There he goes. He's off again now. We've started moving. He's moving. He's definitely a fast learner. Should uh, clarify that. 
fast learner. Probably not the most accurate way to describe it. The most accurate way to sort of describe a dog like Cruiser starts performing quickly is the fact that he's found a desire to be a part of it and to he values the relationship I have with him and therefore wants to stay with me, wants to impress me, um, you know, and try to earn brownie points. So very good to see that we're at that point given I was expecting uh, a little bit a little bit longer to get here but uh, by no means uh, is it done and dusted still a long way to go but I'm seeing really positive improvements I'm seeing really good signs of really good signs of him checking in wanting to wanting to hang out uh, looking to me taking those silent cues in my body language in direction uh, stop start before when we did it with him he was taking cues off the dogs and following the pack and um, but today it's a different story it's good radio pretty sure I've shown this tree before but I love coming up here and having a look because every now and again you get lucky but doesn't look like it's going to be today there's a goanna that lives in this tree can't find his hidey hole but there's about three or four hollows in the tops of branches I'll show you one just now well, before I move away one is right up in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a hollow in the branch. There's a, a fair bit of wear on both sides of the opening of that timber going into the, that hollow. So something's definitely living in there. And there are some really impressive goanna tracks up the trunk of this tree. Hello, mate. Doing well, buddy. So first off, I'm just going to see if I can get a shot about the sun ruining it for us. It might do. Oh yeah. It's... See if we can see it. So yeah it gets pretty dark up there because the sun's behind it. But I'll show you the difference in what I'm talking about to start with. So this here is untouched bark on this tree. This part you can see is all ripped up and, and puffed up. So as we go along this side, you can actually see the whole way up is really rough and torn and it's torn in these tracks. So now that we know what we're looking at, nice and smooth, untouched, and then these tracks here, and you can see when we step back from the tree, you can see they're in perfect. Um, oh, what this? They're in perfect claw marks. Sorry, um, tracks as in they're equal strides the whole way up so it's a goanna just climbing that same path going up and then once he gets there i don't know where he goes does he go this way up there out there there's plenty of options for him there's a beehive in that one it's a native beehive there but every now and again you get to see the goanna Yep, the tracks marks going up there. You can see on both sides there's a little gap there. That's his right leg, and around on the left is his left leg. All the way up, gets to there, 
There is some more tracks going up to that fork, but then I lose him. Could be anywhere up here. But no matter what, those tracks are fresh all year round. In the middle of winter, they obviously got less traffic, but as you can see there, they're being used regularly. He's out hunting, wandering around the place. Just can't find him. Anyway, I digress. There you go, bud. Oh, that's a good one, Lil. That's a good one, Lily. Look at that. Talk about some neck muscles. That's solid. That's solid, darling. Is that a good one? Oh, is that a good one? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's got some weight to it. It's got some weight to it, Lil. Oh yeah, my stick. I didn't even think about it, Hope. Oh, Lily. Good job, darling. Good job, Lily. Oh, use a cheeky kill. Use a cheeky kill, won't you? Oof, oof, oof. Good boy, mate. Good boy, being good boy. Good boy. So Banjo is now taller at the shoulder than uh, than Rusko. Tension could be building. Power shift. Banjo definitely hopes so. Not for a while though. <laughs> See, Miss Violet has a good time. Doesn't matter what she's doing, what we're doing. Just loves life. She's one of those dogs that anytime you look at her, just makes your heart smile. It's like a real feel good. Like a, you go get him. Go get him, Tiger. Good job, darling. Good job. Hey anyway, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed coming on that bushwalk with me. It was uh, positive. Uh, in summary, it was a real positive to see Cruiser taking his cues from me, not just the pack, although he was pretty in, uh, easily enticed off with the group in front that took off that time. But uh, very, very impressed with how he's come along. Lily nailed it. Good girl. What a good girl, Lily. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, guys. This is all behind the scenes, behind the camera here. Oh, good girl. Good girl. The screen's getting all sorts of licks over here from the boxer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you too. Yeah, you are beautiful. Yeah, you are beautiful. Oh, did you try to take everyone's treats? Did you try to take everyone's treats? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Good girl, good girl, good, good girl, yeah. Oh, hi, Barney, you want some too? Oh, yeah, boxer, 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 boxer. Yeah, they're like, this is fun. This is fun. Uh, if she jumps, I want to jump. Good job. You want to come in on some of that fun too, mate? You want to come in on some of that too, buddy? Good boy. Good boy. Nope. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm taking the suit. Hey, yeah. I've been taking the suit. I don't need to go 
Oh, Chubby Gigi. Oh, Chubby Gigi. What are you doing, buddy? Oh. <laughs> are you calling it banana soup? Red light. Green light. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Good night, evenings telling stories. Playing games like we're all kids again. Once a brown, it's gotta be the finest person. It's like time is falling asleep. Once a brown, so let's keep. Okay, no more money. Scary. Oh, scary. scary. Hello, my beautiful girl. Hello, my beautiful girl. Hello. All these little things are not all Oh, 
your feet. Uh. If I say that I love you Cause there's so many ways that I want to Carve out our names For a last minute plane Just us two We can chase The sun as it sets in the mountains Find luck like a bet in Greek fountains Or lay lazy in bed with your head on my chest Yeah, if you were about to die mind, If I say that I love you Every day another heart I do Cause you know I do, 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 I do Hear every note that my heart sings Like a choir of bells, how they all ring Oh, can't you tell, neath the timpani swells and heartstrings There's a place, deep in our hearts, where it matters We can stay there forever and after Written in stars, right above where we are I hope you don't mind If I say that I love you Every day another high do Cause you know 